public service announcement. Um, you're not nuts. The vibe that's going on right now, um, solar activity, earth activity, the intensity of the storylines that are carrying on around the planet right now um, are crazy intense, crazy intense. So you're not nuts. You're not making this up. The weird angsty feeling that you're having right now, totally justified. But I'm going to go out on a little limb here. Um, you know, is the world in chaos? Sure. Um, is there a lot of hatred and anger going on right now? Total division. Yeah, that's what happens in a, in a playground that we call a dichotomy of dark and light. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb here, though, and I'm going to say something to you. And I hope maybe one person who's listening to this today who feels like they're about to lose their goddamn mind, I hope you hear this. I'm the girl who died and came back, all right? So I've had the glorious experience of exiting the body, staying tethered just enough not to carry on to greater adventures, but to come back in here and tell all y'all, you have nothing to worry about, okay? I need somebody who's sitting out there freaking out right now to hear this. I just feel it so strongly. And I don't care what you see going on in the news. If it's bothering you, turn it off. When you go to the shops and you see stuff and people aren't, aren't, aren't behaving kindly, you be the kindness that shows up. I don't care what's going on around you that's terrifying you. Oh, God, the stock market is crashing. It's crashed a million times since it's been in, in existence. Maybe sometimes you knew about it and sometimes you didn't. Um, that's just the way this stuff works. Oh, God, we're headed towards recession. You've lived through one. You're okay. You'll be all right. Um, I need you to know that your worst fears, your worst nightmares, the things that are bothering you the most about, oh, oh my God, what if? Your worst case scenario in any of those cases is you die. And I'm going to tell you right now that it's pretty amazing. You have absolutely nothing to worry about if, you know, suddenly it's time, you know, that last little ghost gets your Pac-Man and game is over. It's an amazing experience. And it's one where you completely wake up from all of this and go, oh, shit, I forgot. I went in there to experience all that intensity and that fear and that angst and I freaking forgot. So I'm going to remind you today. So if you're freaking out at the state of the world or if you're feeling like, oh my God, I feel I feel all these intense energies. Yeah, you do. And what of it? So um, I got a little reminder picture today and it was a photograph of me and uh, one of my BFFs, um, Angelica Stone. And four years ago today when the world was burning down around us, um, we were in the midst of chaos. Um, people were name calling, pointing, forcing, you know telling people they had to get vaccinated or lose their jobs or couldn't travel or just, you know, the world, you were all there. Um, and it was a picture of Angelica and I in roller skates in Winslow, Arizona, standing on a corner, Winslow, Arizona. Yeah. So we literally got in the car and drove across America with my daughters during the pandemic in routes. Uh, and we took off across route 66 and roller skated in every city along the way. <laughs> And I looked back at that and I just went, oh my God, y'all, do I have any regrets looking back at that now that I did that? Absolutely not. Would you, if you were in my shoes? I look back and I go, oh my gosh, that is a girl who knows that life is for living. And I actually really looked at that and went, God, I like me. Um, so I'm just going to remind you, you know, that doesn't make me extra special because I did that or it's, but you know, I just, I knew not to be afraid. I just did. And I try to spend my time helping you know not to be afraid as well. Um, so when I saw that reminder today and I was like, oh my God, we rocked that pandemic. And so now we have a new challenge ahead of us. You know, there's all sorts of weirdness. There's fighting going on. I'm getting ready to drive to London where there's riots happening. And I'll, do you know what? I'm going to get in there and have a great adventure. And, you know, I don't do stupid stuff. I don't put myself unnecessarily at risk um, unless I deem it necessary. Because guess what? The end result it's just not that bad. Um, do I have a death wish? Absolutely not. But what I do see on a daily basis is people who are so afraid to live. They are so fearful that the world is happening all around them and they're curling up inside because they're afraid to take a risk or take a step or, or release that fear and go do something. You know what? The uncertainty of the world makes me want to do more stuff. It makes me want to be more proactive. It makes me want to go experience things that I've been putting on the long finger, do you know, or like, go do it, guys. Go do your stuff. You Tomorrow's not promised. You have no idea how much time you have here. You have no idea if your bank's going to get emptied out tomorrow. You don't know. Do you know? So, because you don't know, why would you not live in the meantime? 
because there's always going to be a challenge. There's always going to be the next riot. There's always going to be next pandemic. There's always going to be the next, you know, attempt at forced vaccination. There's always going to be the next whatever. There's always going to be something. And there's always going to be an opportunity for assholery to abound. And you either choose to participate in it or not. You can look back at some of your behaviors over the last years, whether it's politically, whatever, all the stuff that you put up is that, you know, like, are you fueling the flames or are you um, helping to bring some peace and love to the situation? And, you know, a lot of you can't answer that with the uh, peace and love answer. And that's okay. You know, we all get caught up in it. I've gotten caught up in it on days when I was super angry and just very frustrated. And then you get over yourself and you get on with it. So this is just a reminder. Yeah. There's a lot of intense shit going on right now. A lot of it. We're all involved in it. We're all in it. But I encourage you, rather than curling up into a ball of fear, get out there and go start doing some stuff. You won't regret it. I looked at that picture today and got, oh my God, the smile it brought to my face when I was like, I stood in the face of a fear. And I went, you're not going to take control of my life. And I had an opportunity to teach my daughters, don't let the decisions and the fears that other people have dictate what you choose to do with your life. So we found a way to get around it. We had American passports. We were able to go to America. How interesting. Um, and we rocked our way across America and, and saw the country in a very different light. We went to all these different places. It was <laughs> empty. The roads were empty. The restaurants were open but empty. And we had a ball. So, you know, this is just your reminder to get out there in the face of all that freaks you out and go do something magnificent. Because you know what? You might be the one person that source, God, universe, whoever, whatever you choose to call it, you might be that one person that that source chooses to use in mighty ways today. And if you're sitting at home boohooing, afraid of what's to come, as opposed to getting out there and using the life that you've been given then it's, you know, it's going to be a sad state of affairs. So get out there and go do something great.